so marijuana is no new fangled theme these days uh, in America, especially here in Colorado. Um, as you guys know, back in 2000, in uh, November 2000, uh, medical marijuana was passed, and employee or uh, people are allowed to. Uh, I'm trying to do what I say. What I'm trying to say here. They're allowed to have up to two ounces of marijuana. Uh, for medical purposes, i.e., you know, a Charlie horse, things like that. <laughs> um, and as a result, it kind of created this gray area, and it made it a nightmare for HR professionals, because going forward, what do we have to put up with? The challenges of disciplining or firing employees who were using marijuana for medical purposes. Now let's fast forward 13 years to November 2013, what happened? Recreational. recreational got passed, correct. So when recreational hit, it just became almost like alcohol. I always joke with all my employees, you know what? We are the liquor store of the marijuana world. That's what we are. And now people can uh, have a purchase up to two ounces of marijuana a day, but can only transport one of those ounces at a time. <laughs> So, this one's a little bit, you know, more black and white. It's, like I said, it's treated like alcohol. You show up, you're abused. You show up, it's not worth it. So what does this mean to you as an employer? Well, how is this going to affect you as your marijuana law, like the marijuana, marijuana laws? Well, I'm going to tell you, with recreational marijuana, it doesn't hurt you as an employer. The reason why is because, like I said, it's just like alcohol. So if someone shows up under the influence, of alcohol to work, what happens? You send them home, or you can fire them. Depending. <laughs> I'd personally probably fire them. Um, so it's, it's clear as day. It's crystal clear HD. This one you don't have to worry about. It's no big issue. Medical, here's, here's the one that gets a little crazy. Because after all, if someone's using marijuana for, for medical purposes, what's that mean? There are, you can't go into their medical history, it becomes this great area, they're like, oh, you know, for me, I, I'm using it. Well, wrong answer, that's not the case. When it comes to medical marijuana, you can let an employee go if they show up and test positive under the, uh, for marijuana. Does anyone know why that is? All right, there's a fun little statute that uh, kind of took place here back in um, November or uh, April 2013. Coates versus Dish LLC. Anyone heard of it? All right, so this is kind of your silver lining. This is your mm, paint manning, if you will, uh, because this is gonna protect you. Basically what had happened was Mr. Coates uh, was a medical patient, worked at Dish Network, and got fired for testing uh, hot on a random drug test. He turned around and said, you know what? I'm going to sue the company for wrongful termination because after all, I'm using this for medical purposes. Okay, sounds fair enough, right? Well, not exactly. The Court of Appeals didn't agree with this because they said, according to law, the uh, lawful activity statute um, is very a gray area, so therefore, it naturally defaults to federal and because federal is illegal, therefore, we support it. So, I know you're all kind of looking at me like hazy and confused, like, what are you trying to say to Travis? All right, so basically what I'm telling you is you are safe. If you have employees who are using medical marijuana, you can let them go if they pop hot. Now, let's do all that legal mumbo jumbo aside for a second, and let's talk about a drug policy. This is your ironclad way to protect yourself as an employer. Pretty, pretty standard, right? Make sure that when you have a drug policy in place, that you have it as specific and black and white as possible because you can't argue facts. As well, this could be a small blurb in your employee handbook. This can also be a 17-page epic novel. But make sure at the end of the day you have them sign off on a acknowledgement that they are aware of the, um, of the policy and that they are expected to adhere to it. Because at the end of the day, that Herbie Hancock on that eight and a half by 11 piece of paper is gonna save your ass. Um, so yeah.